The last time the Kennedy Space Center saw a rocket rolled out to the launch pad for a crewed mission to the moon was half a century ago. Then it was the enormous Saturn V with the Apollo lander on top. Now it's the space launch system, the most powerful rocket ever built, topped with the Orion spacecraft, preparing not for a landing this time, but an interplanetary slingshot. They will not even try to land on the moon. They will not even go into orbit around the moon, but they will shoot past the moon 5,000 miles, sort of do a U-turn, come back, and then splash down in the Pacific. After an uncrewed test flight three years ago, the Artemis program is now in full swing with lofty goals. Get human feet back on the moon, on the far side where there might be accessible ice water, set up an orbiting lunar space station and even build a permanent base on the surface. If all that goes well, who knows what could be next for the SLS rocket. It's got that extra capability with potential to go further than the moon itself, so potentially to Mars, potentially to places like Jupiter. It, could, it has the potential to carry telescopes, for instance, into deep space for deep space observations, that kind of thing. Your Artemis II crew! Now it's time for final assembly and checks before three Americans and a Canadian hop aboard early next month and the next chapter of human spaceflight blasts off.